Um, okay, so my topic tonight is how to get anything you want in life. You ready to get started? Everyone ready? What do you think it is? How do you, how do you do it? How do you get anything you want? What do you guys think? What is it you want? Let's start with that conversation. What is it you want in life? What is it you want? Anybody? Has a lot been the same as a slim band? No, it's not. Happiness? True. That's easy enough to ask for. Don't be saying peace bullshit like that now. <laughs> Maybe peace for yourself, okay? Figured out how to watch you. It's Norma Jean. Gastric. All right, Norma Jean. Yay. Love, Cheryl. You can love at any moment. Memories, amazing stories. That's Sarah. Awesome. Um, what materialistic things do you want? How about that? Let's do some materialistic things. New car, new house, new boyfriend, new husband, <laughs> new wife, <laughs> a good mattress, money. That's awesome. Boys are bad, that is true. Big ass salads. Plastic surgery, oh, that's a good one because we're talking to a lot of weight loss surgery patients. Uh, Lorinda wants her baby. <laughs> it's coming, be patient, you know. All right, so here we go. Here's, there's a, um, I will give credit where credit's due. This um, is from Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N, who, um, who passed away about five years ago, but he's a motivational speaker who kind of led to Tony Robbins and everything like that. So if you follow Jim Rohn, uh, you might know this answer, uh, but it's a good answer. It's the, good, the best answer I know. Here's an old Bible proverb or saying um, on how to get what you want. And the formula goes like this. <laughs> it's ask. That's it, ask. The rest of it goes and you shall receive, but all you have to do is just ask. That's how you get anything you want in life. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Especially this time of year. Now think about this. You know, you, when you're growing up, your mom, your dad asked you what you what Santa was gonna bring you, what you wanted Santa to bring you, and you would ask for a toy car or whatever, and boom, you got it. You know, you just had to ask. At some point, as adults, we just quit asking, didn't we? We started hoping. We started um, wishy-washing, if that's a word. We quit asking. We became embarrassed to ask, maybe. You know, uh, maybe you thought we were all adults now. We should be the one providing for our kids or our family. At some point, we just quit asking and became foreign to us. But that's how you get anything in this world. You just ask. I did it today. I asked that I wanted uh, to be a TV show. So I messaged a couple of people and we got the ball rolling, you know. So all you have to do is ask. And if you will ask, the universe will bring you a lot of forces you know, to do it. Now, a lot of people have learned this lately because of um, the movie, The Secret. And so there's a lot of talk about the law of attraction. If you haven't watched The Secret, you can YouTube it. It's all free on YouTube, you can watch it. Um, and the law of attraction is partially it. It's not completely yet it. What you have to do is verbalize it. You have to ask, and you have to be very specific and you're asking what you want. You know, For those of you who said you wanted money, everybody wants money. If you just ask for the money, the universe will give you a nickel or a quarter. Because you guys have all done that, right? You walk through the parking lot, you look down, you find a dollar bill, it's like, woohoo, dollar bill. And the universe said, you asked for money, I gave you a dollar, what else do you want? So you have to be very specific in your asking, okay? so. So that's tip number one. To get what you want in life, you just have to ask. But I'm gonna give you three tips. Tips and tip number two. Um, oh, here's tip number two. I forgot to put it. Tip number two. The mistake people make, here's the big disconnect. They ask and then they forget. Isn't that true? You ask, you forget, you wish, maybe you hope or whatever. But here's what I want you to do. Tip number two, after you ask, now you have to act as if. So if you're taking notes, write that down. You have to act as if. 
You have to act like you already have it, right? You have to act as you already have it. So, for example, if you want confidence, you gotta start acting like you have more confidence. If you want love in your life, you have to act like you're, you're already in love. You have a loving personality and you'll get more of it. If you want money, and this one was hard for me, because I grew up really, really, really poor. I'm an immigrant boy. You have to act as you already have money. And I'll explain that to you in a second. Just hear me out. You have to act like you already have money, okay? And it was hard. Growing up was easy, because my dad took care of the problem. But when I became an adult and I was broke, that was hard to act like you had money. I'll give you one more. When I was an adult and I was a surgeon and I was broke, and I, you know, and I went through my hurricane, my trials, that was really hard to believe that I was wealthy and abundant. And that's when Jim Rohn's message came to me, that first you have to ask, and now I'm telling you, you have to act as if. And it's hard for people who are struggling to make ends meet to think, oh my gosh, if I give this to someone else, I might not make my bills. I promise you, that was my biggest challenge to overcome. When, uh, when you give, you know, it's that saying, if you give, more, what you give, you will receive back tenfold. And that's true, and that's true. So I want you to start acting as if you're abundant, as if you're already wealthy. You need to start acting as if you already have that new car, that bigger house, right? You need to act that. And the reason why, and here's um, why the law of attraction is incomplete, you also have to vibrate. The law of attraction works by a law called law of vibration. We all vibrate, okay? We're all energy forms. This is actually shown to be true in modern science, and you're vibrating at a certain level. So you need to up your vibration to behaving to what you want. Now most videos would stop there, but here I'm gonna tell you, here's the truth. And I'm gonna get some amens real quick from you. You think, oh my God, Dr. Vong, it's too hard for me to act as if I already have it. It's too hard for me to pretend like I'm wealthy when I'm really poor. But here's the truth, here comes an amen, ready? If whether you know it or not, you're already acting less than you are. You know, because isn't that the truth? Every time you were wondering if you could make the bills, the ends meet, you always got found some extra money that came in or you got your income tax in on time or something. Something made it meet. But you've been acting below your means. You've been acting insufficient, like, uh, like a shortage. It's no harder to act high, to act like you're abundant, to act like you have a lot. It's no harder to act like that than to act like you're, you're living from a place of shortage. Isn't that true? That's totally true. Because that's the vibration that you're at. That's the level that you're vibrating at. And it's hard because the re, and here's the reason why it's hard. It's because everybody around you that we surround ourselves with, we always want to act like we don't have enough. That it's hard. That's a struggle. So that's the world we live in is that it's a world of hard and scarcity, etc. And you need to rise above that. You need to push yourself above that and say no see that thinking low thinking small has never gotten you anywhere that's the truth isn't that the truth you can think all the smallness you want and you'll never get a new car you'll never get a new house okay and when you start thinking that it's a that it's available readily available and that you're abundant and that you're blessed and you start walking with that confidence and talking with confidence for whatever you want job promotion new job new girlfriend, new clothes, you just start acting that way as if, and then you start giving it to the universe, you know, um, it comes back to you tenfold, okay? I promise you. So tip number one to getting what you want is to, just to act. Tip number two is um, to act as, I'm sorry, <laughs> tip number one was to ask. Tip number two was to act like you already have it. But here's tip number three and maybe the most important one, and this is what I like to call the duck it up one, right? If you're gonna ask, and if you're gonna act, then you might as do it big ass style. Do it Dr. V style, do it real big. Ask for something really big, big, you know? 
don't sit there and say, oh, I hope I get a raise and I'll have, you know, 40,000, I'll get $45,000 a year. No, no, no. Start saying 100,000. Start saying 150,000. You know, start saying, instead of going home with the sixes at the bars, ask for, you know, start pretending like you're dating the tens. Really kick it up. Kick it up a notch. That's what you want. And that's why you start, you know, you guys, it's so embarrassing, you guys. I have to tell you, honestly, I walk around all the time and find $10 bills <laughs> all the time. And people like are so happy when they find a quarter or a nickel or $1. I find $10 bills all the time, you know, in parking lots. It's just, it's pretty randomly. A couple times a month, I easily find money just lying around. And that's just the level I vibrate at. Now, maybe someone's walking around my hospital with holes in their pockets. I don't know. But <laughs> it lands in my pot. You know, it lands to me. And, you know, you just have to, to increase your expectations. That's ducking it up. Making it special. Making it purposeful. Making it large. Living big. You know, filling your abundance. Being just joyful beyond belief. You know, you just have to blow it up. Blow it up. Make it big. And here's why. I'll give you special tip number four. It does not take you any more energy to ask small as it does to ask large. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? It takes no more time or no more energy to ask big than to ask small. Right? So, that's it. That's my tip on how you get everything you want in life. Ask for it, act like you have it, then duck it up and ask for a big ass dream, big ass goal, big ass plans, big ass life, big ass memory. Amen, amen, amen. Love y'all, that ends my 10 minute talk. I'll do a short 10 minute Q&A. It's getting freaking cold outside. <laughs> I need to go eat and work on my book. I'm gonna send off a manuscript. I've had enough time. Thank you, thank you for all the amens. Love you all very much. For those of you who just watching, this is Real Talk with Dr. V. I'm director of Loveless Bariatrics in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Author of Ultimate Gastric Sleeve Success. I hope you'll check it out on Amazon. There's my name so you can see my actual credentials. There's my ugly twin brother on the back who wears ties. No ties for this guy. This is my basic book uh, that all my patients go through. Hope you'll check out my meditation guide too because um, Weight loss surgery is much more than just medita than just uh, having surgery itself. Cool. This is Real Talk with Dr. V. I'm here most nights. I should be here tomorrow night. A little bit earlier, though. I have a little business meeting I have to attend to. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll get uh, advanced uh, notices of these um, periscopes. Plus, you'll get a I'll do a three to four minute uh, short and sweet summary of this periscope talk I just had, so you can just watch just the essence of this. Plus. I'm also going to start uh, doing a one-page transcription of these Periscope talks, okay? Just the part that I talk about. TV show meeting, I wished, but I'm not. Um, it's actually medical-related. medical, medical related. Thank you for your questions and comments. What else you got for me? I'm going to do about, about a like, five-minute uh, Q&A for you real quick. Um, invite followers. Isaac, what's for dinner? I haven't decided. Uh, I think I need a big ass salad with probably a little piece of fish on top because I haven't had my big ass salad today. I had what I want, a hundred thousand dollar job, gave it up. Can I get it back? Um, I would tell you, Sherry Gill, if you gave it up for a reason, so you probably don't want it, I would tell you to go get a different job, bigger job, bigger pay raise. That's it. I would like the medication, medication guide or the meditation guide. They give me the meditation guide right there. It's on Amazon. On, on Kindle, it's $2.99. You can also get it for Nook. Um, but stay tuned. I'll be giving away, away a free prize for this too, okay? My baby girl. What about your baby girl? Your daughter? Baby girl? She's getting big. Hope you guys are doing okay. Keep tapping your screens if you're watching the replay. I'm appreciating all the hearts. I am 11,000 hearts away from Deepak Chopra, so I'm gonna catch him and pass him up. Oh good, meditation guide. You're right, there you go. All right, awesome, glad you could find me. Cool, work on the hair, fireplace. Um, cooking show maybe Friday night on the spicy seafood ramen noodle soup. Mmm, delish, I had it last night, it was great. Can I get a job as your cooking assistant that'll pay 100,000? 
Is that Lori? That looks like a picture of Lori's. Am I right, Hummingbird? My brother runs his wine through crystals to change the vibrations. Ooh, good man. That's nice. Crystals can do that, believe it or not. Uh, Lori, um, no. <laughs> Cooking assistance will make 100000 Nice try, though. But thank you for asking. Somebody would if you're good. Give me more hearts than that. Thank you, Isaac. I appreciate it. You know? Life is good. This time of year is here for a reason. And we miss so much of it, don't we? We get all tied up with presents and things and functions. And sometimes people just wish the holidays would be over with. And I think that's a terrible way to live. I think every day should be like Christmas, don't you think? Every day should be a blessing. Every day should be full of excitement to enjoy. You know, and don't get me wrong, I've got my bad days too. I've got, <laughs> I had a whole bad week last week. But most of the time you should feel very blessed and loved and that you mean something, okay? You're not alive thanks to me, Isaac. You're alive thanks to, thanks to you, actually. So, you need to see Anita Wing. Uh, she's coming to New Mexico January, February. I don't know Anita Wing Lee. But uh, glad to look her up if you give me some info. Cool? Appreciate y'all very much. This is Real Talk with Dr. V. I hope you like it. Please share it on Facebook and other social media. Please invite followers. Um, yes, you make it worthwhile. Awesome. Um, so... Uh, yeah, definitely, we're looking for 10,000 followers. I mean, Donald Trump has like, a, I don't know, a million followers or some shit like that. That sounds ridiculous. He shouldn't do that. <laughs> I like Donald Trump for what he does for real estate, but man, he's kind of crazy. I don't really follow politics anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ask large. I like it. Coco, that's right. That's what you have to do. And then, but don't forget step two. You have to act like you already have it. Act as if, you know, act like you already have it. You know, behave that way. Increase your level of vibration. Your hair looks better than his. <laughs> okay. The Deepox? Uh, who knows? Oh, the Trumps. Trump is nuts. Okay, yeah. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Although it's pretty messy. Yeah. What do you think? Trump's hair, is it a, do you think it's a wig? Or do you think it's real? Rig or will? Rig, wig or real? <laughs> That's hard to say. I would like her philosophy. Awesome. Appreciate y'all very much. Any questions? I know we're just talking. Rug fake. <laughs> Come over. I, I thought I saw a video where someone tugged on his hair and said it was real, but it, it looks funky. It looks like a, like a, some, some sort of uh, rodent crawled on his head and died. Oh, that's ugly. I shouldn't have said that, huh? All right. Oh, reset pass for the new year. Jojo, 1975. I think you keep, uh, I think I noticed you posting that before. I'll do a special, special talk for you about that for 19, for the new year's. How's that? All right. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the broadcast. I will do my short and sweet summary now. Check me out on Facebook. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I, I don't need book sales, I promise you, but promise. Like this could change your life. If you will just share this with somebody or this book, someone who's having weight loss surgery or looking at uh, MGS Chase, uh, ABC book, love it. Thank you so much. It's a small book, you know, but it's packed with a lot of information. This book is almost 200 pages. Um, it could change someone's life. Now, you know, what if it's your best friend who's thinking about going to Mexico for weight loss surgery, which is fine, no big deal. But you know, this could really help her or him. What if it's your daughter? Or what if it's your wife? I mean, you know, we ha we all have enough scarves and socks and gloves, but books can change your life. Any book, not just my book, just send a book. I think that would be a great gift, you know? And ultimately, you have to try to help people. Hey, let me show you the book I'm sorry, I'm looking right now in case. We could do a book club. You guys want to do a book club? That could be good. See what Dr. Vong reads? This is Abundance, you know? This is from the guy Peter Diamandis who... Um, came up with the X prizes, you know? So think about that. So, I mean, it's interesting. I'm trying to skim it, but right tonight I'm gonna work on my own book. Cool? But um, books can change your life, but here's the tip. The book you never read can't help you. True? The book you never read cannot help you. And these books could change your loved one's life. I mean, it's not that much. Hope you check it out. And um, hope you follow. If you don't wanna buy the book, just tell them to follow me on Periscope. Invite them to follow me on Periscope. And um, also tell them, um, you know, see me on Facebook. I give a lot, we give away a lot of free stuff, free materials. I, I used to upload a lot more free stuff, but I'm kind of busy these days. Do, do <laughs> I don't have enough to do <laughs> than a book club. Maybe a book recommendation guide or something like that. 
How about that? Instead of a book club. I could do something like that instead. Well, I appreciate y'all very much. I hope I don't look as tired as Christy told me, Roop Roop told me I look like. Um, thank you, Isaac. You have a blessed night too. I hope you'll try that lobster, Isaac, and that snapper. You're worth it. Your lovely wife is worth it. All right. Thank you very much. If you were to give one piece of advice about weight loss, what would it be? Weight loss or weight loss surgery? If it's weight loss, well, I guess both would be eat big ass salads, drink a lot of water. If you want a tip on, um, you know, preparing for weight loss surgery, I would tell you um, get as much information as possible. That starts with good books. Don't read online stuff. It's, it can be trouble. Thanks for sharing your time and knowledge, Doc. You're welcome, sweetheart. Um, to get what you want in life, you first you have to ask. Two, you have to act as if. Three, dream big. Ask for big stuff, okay? Thanks, Roxy. See you soon. Your date's coming up soon. All right. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.